Hello everyone, this is Dhruv and today I will be reviewing the movie Shaitan. Before I begin, just a gentle request, if you do like this review, please do hit the like and the subscribe button. Vikas Behl, whose last movie Ganpat sank without a trace at the box office, returns this time around with a supernatural thriller called Shaitan, which deals with the subject of black magic. The movie narrates the story of a very happy family who becomes a victim of black magic and how they deal with it is what forms the story. Now let's get something straight. If you're expecting a Ramsey kind of a horror movie, where you see over the top makeup and funny looking ghosts chasing the protagonist, then you will be very disappointed. This is more of a psychological thriller and honestly, this does not even qualify as a horror movie. Behel is a very, very talented director and we have seen that with movies like Queen, Goodbye and Super 30. And this time he gets super talented actors like Ajay Devgan, Madhuvan and Jyotika. And with such a star cast, your expectations are bound to be high. But sadly, the movie does not live up to the hype and expectations in entirety. Now, don't get me wrong. The movie does not bore you. And yes, it keeps you engaged. But it lacks the punch that makes it a must watch. And this time, it's the performances more than the screenplay that makes this one watchable. Black magic is a very, very serious topic that's discussed in India. It's one of the most superstitious topic. And if you believe in it, then this movie will make you more superstitious. And you will start doubting anyone who gives you anything to eat. And to me, that's definitely an issue. The movie does come with a disclaimer that the makers are not promoting black magic, but the story is like that. With that being said, if you're interested in watching a supernatural thriller, which is not great, but still keeps you somehow engrossed, then you can go for this one. But I do recommend that you keep your expectations on the lower side. The movie screenplay has some twists, but is mostly a convenient one. And the writer's laziness is quite evident. And as I mentioned earlier, it's more of a performance driven movie. But yes, the climax is quite decent and most viewers will embrace the climax with open arms. As for the performances, Madhavan is just outstanding. He gets a great role and he delivers. In fact, he more than delivers. He's truly, truly menacing and you will really hate his character. In the role of the father, Ajay is actually quite good. Yes, he does not get a meaty role like Madhavan, but he is outstanding in the climax. It's great to see Jyotika in a Bollywood movie. She's a very talented and a fine actress, and she's amazing over here as well. You get to see so much anger and helplessness through her eyes, and it's just fantastic of what she has delivered in this movie. I want to give a special mention to the daughter, Janki Bodhiwala, as Janvi. She is truly exceptional. Her expressions changes like a chameleon and you really feel sad for her character. Overall, all I can say is, if you go watch this with low expectations, then you might find it a decent watch. I rate it a 3 out of 5. And if you do get a chance, please do leave a comment and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like in the movie. Thank you so much for watching.